Today we're going to have a look at a Nixie clock. This is a super cool little device that runs off Nixie tubes. These were display tubes that were used back in the 70s before LEDs. So let's have a look at this device and let's see if we can control it in any way using Home Assistant. So PCBWay was recently kind enough to send me one of these awesome little Nixie clocks. These are amazing clocks that use the Nixie tubes or something similar to what was made back in the 70s for displaying information. Now these are going at a real good price at the moment, $66.99 US and you can click in the link below if you want to order yourself one of these. Now looking at Nixie tubes, these are beautiful devices. They are tubes made and they have a cold cathode display. So effectively they have the numbers made in this metal and it's got a gas inside there, some type of neon gas and they've got this sort of 3D effect as it goes through the numbers because they're one in front of the others. I think it's an absolutely amazing looking device and there's all sorts of these clocks out there. As you can see there's some of these beautiful old ones that I believe are coming from the Ukraine. These are still being made there. So absolutely amazing. But this is a really cost effective little advantage or a little one of these devices that you can purchase for yourself. So let's have a look at it. As you can see, these are really nicely made with acrylic strips with the, above the PC board with standoffs. And then they have these wonderful Nixie tubes with that warm glow. And then you've got that LED light backlighting it from the back and you can change the colors. You can either do it automatically or you can select the colors. I've connected it up to my little ammeter as you can see there on five volts. It's running at just over half an amp there. So reasonable amount of current but it is just beautiful to see how this device works. So having a look at it again there you can see we've got it in the minute and the second mode and I love what it does as it hits the 9, 10 as it turns over, there we go, it does this little counting through the numbers. That's my favorite part of this clock. It's just amazing. It also has those two little LED dots or little neon dots in the middle, and those are what will flash. If you're in the um, hour and minute mode, those will actually flash to display the seconds going by. Now, it does have this little infrared remote control where you can press the EQ button and it will then step through minute, hour, day, month, and year. And you can adjust plus and minus to set any of these numbers. You can also adjust the backlight feature by pressing the nine button on the keypad. You can then go in and you can adjust it to either be on one steady color or you can adjust it to be multiple different flashing colors. You can also adjust the brightness there is also an automatic on off timer so by pressing the six button i can set the time that the device will switch on the display say in the morning and i can press number seven to adjust when i want to switch off the power of the display in the evening it will keep the time going in the background but it will switch it off for example if you're using it in your bedroom now for me personally i'm going to use the on off feature by connecting this up through my Broadlink Pro, I will record the uh, infrared input of the on off, which is the top left button, which is our channel minus button, which is the on off switch for the display. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna program that in as a toggle into Home Assistant, and I'm gonna control it on off with my Broadlink RM Pro. Now, I would love to see if there are other ways to actually program this to use it as a display for Home Assistant. So if any of you got, or guys have got any ideas how we can do this, please let me know. That's all for now. Bye then. Have a great week.